Ugh. Why am I so fat? Alrighty, guys. So, as you can tell by the title, uh, this is not a review of this gun. And the main reason is the fact that I don't have enough time with this firearm. I purchased it recently from a friend. Uh, again, I told you, I believe if you've watched the Royal Purple review, you've already seen this firearm. Uh, I purchased it from a friend who needed some money. Uh, he passed the background check, so I decided to buy it off of him. Got it for fairly inexpensive. Uh, took it out. Slide was not withstanding the best I've ever seen. Uh, it was a little gummed up. Okay, it was a lot of gummed up. Uh, and, and basically, it did not function reliably. Uh, and that's due to owner neglect. As it turns out, it was. Uh, basically, I got it, and it was covered in rust, and what appeared to be cosmoline from when it was imported. Uh, I don't know when it was imported. I do know it was manufactured in 1976. This is a Model BM, which I believe stands for valve movement, because whenever I got this, it was a big, ugly turd. And it's still kind of ugly, but not so much a turd anymore. It shoots pretty well. Uh, I just wanted to let you guys know kind of what's going on with this pistol because I had two or three emails about it just from the Royal Purple video which was kind of funny because uh, I didn't think it even draw any attention I just threw it in there because it's something that I had used the Royal Purple on and I, I had a couple emails about it and so I'm like yeah I'll, I'll talk about it briefly again I got it in a sweet little deal didn't cost me a whole lot of money uh, it is a star 9mm, almost a 1911, not quite, uh, model BM, bow movement. And, again, whenever I got it, it, it looked pretty much like what you'd expect from an import. Uh, the wood was scratched up pretty bad, the slide was rusty, uh, the barrel was rusty, trigger assembly was rusty, hammer had rust all over it. I'm going to go ahead and let that hammer down. It is empty. Uh, and so I, I took to smithing on it, basically. And I got it cleaned up fairly well. Again, I took it out to the gun range. It wouldn't cycle, period. Uh, it, 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 would, well, it wouldn't feed the round, basically. Uh, so I took it back home, disassembled it. Disassembles just like any other 1911, basically. I, I say that, and then someone will be like, Oh, well, the 1911 doesn't do this. I know. Popped. Dropped. Spin the uh, barrel, or take the recoil spring out, spin the barrel bushing. Come here. Pull the barrel bushing out. Drop the barrel out through the front. And tend to take it down firm. And so again, it takes down basically exactly like a 1911. Uh, however, it does lack some of the things that a 1911 has. Obviously, it has no grip safety. Not a huge flaw, if you ask me. Not a big deal. Really don't care. But I brought her home, took her down, and it was just covered. Boom. Head to toe with rust. Couldn't even hardly take it down. It was so nasty. Uh, but got her broken down. Got it kind of cleaned up. And had to end up doing a ton of work to it. Uh, really had to get in there, scrub everything out. Uh, polished up the barrel, as you can see. Polished up the hammer. Polished up the trigger. Just uh, some of it's cosmetic, but also the uh, the finish on it I thought was a bluing. Uh, I, I would really be hard pressed to call it a bluing. It's more of a painted on surface. Uh, it just it needed some loving, so I cleaned up all the rust off of it, got it oiled up. I decided to throw the gold leaf in on the engraving. Someone did a a, a very poor job of an engraving, but I mean I I really respect the effort that they put into it. I certainly wouldn't have done any better, but it's not very good engraving. And so I decided to fill it in with a gold leaf, just to, just to make it look nice. Uh, anyway, not that you guys really care, here's what's going on. I'm going to keep this gun for a couple months. I'm going to use it in some videos. I think they'll be kind of more on the entertainment side of things. I, I don't really have a ton of plans for it right now other than just to, to show it off in a few videos because it does look cool and I'm not afraid to get it grubby. Uh, 
it, it, it's an okay stunt double for a 1911. Uh, some of the things I wouldn't want to do to my TRP or my range officer. And so, they're, you know, they're... Yeah, I hate putting this thing back together. That freaking barrel doesn't ever like to set where it's supposed to. And... Oh, pulled it too far back. There. Okay. Uh, so you're going to see it in a couple of videos, basically. I mean, that's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and use it. We're going to do it in a music video. We're going to use it in a couple of shooting videos because it is a nice little shooter. Uh, shoots very well. I, I was having some fun with it the other day. And, man, it, it made me look really good. <laughs> it made me look like a lot better shooter than I am. But So that, that's just the plans with it, guys. Uh, I appreciate the inquiries on it. Uh Yes, it, it was it was in horrible condition whenever I got it. I've done my best to uh, clean it up. It's still never going to be some beautiful 1911. And that's okay. It's not supposed to be. It's it's a working man's pistol. And and it is attractive in its own sense. Uh, certainly isn't a uh, 1911A1. It really isn't. But, I mean, it's it's good enough for what we're using it for. Uh, I hope you guys are going to enjoy some of the videos we do with it. They're, they're just kind of fun, spirited videos, you know. Nothing too dramatic with this gun. It, it's not something... Yeehaw. It's not something I'm going to review, I don't think. If if you guys didn't, if you like the video, yeah, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do some, some extra filming with it. You know I'll always do that for you guys. Uh, you know, I just... I don't know. It's unique. You can say that, and it's fun to shoot, and so that's what we're going to use it as, is a stunt double. Uh, we are going to get back into the filming fun stuff, and making, you know, kind of movies again. Uh, you guys seem to really like those. I got a lot of hate over them too, but that's okay. That, pfft, that's just people who don't want to laugh. Hey dude, you're not funny. Well, click off the video then. <laughs> I'm glad you watched it and supported the channel because that ad at the beginning was revenue for me, so uh, thank you. But you can click off anytime. Uh, if you guys don't think it's funny, that's fine. Uh, I see some people who like the reviews. I see some people who hate the reviews. I see some people who like the shooting, some people who hate the shooting, some people who like the comedy, some people who hate the comedy. And that's okay. That's kind of what this channel is. It's a catch-all. I said that. It's actually in the... Uh, it's actually in my channel info if you look. It says it's going to be a catch-all. And, and I've done that so far. So I, I hope you guys enjoy what's coming up. You know, again, we're having fun. <laughs> we're, we're, we're ramping things up again. We've had some really crappy weather. we got some more reviews coming up. But I just wanted to update the inquiries, or those with inquiring minds, I apologize, on what was going on uh, with, with this pistol, why I have it, why it's going to stay around for a bit. Uh, I hope you guys... Uh, we'll enjoy seeing it soon. I just kind of have it up here as eye candy, if you can call it that. I don't know. Maybe not really. Uh, yeah, no, that's not really eye candy. As you did, there's a toilet. Uh, it works. Uh, I, I, I hope you guys enjoy what we do. Uh, we're going to do a couple of uh, action films for you, and this might star in it. <laughs> it's a star. It's going to be a star. Did you get the joke? Better laugh. You better laugh. Sorry. Uh, it's super late at night, guys. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I just wanted to fill you in. Uh, stay tuned. Keep your eye out for this video. And videos uh, involving the star, I will make a playlist for it. That way, you guys, if you if those are <laughs> if there is someone out there who is just damn interested in this thing, there will be a playlist dedicated to videos that have the star in it. So... If you like it, look forward to that because we are going to be doing a ton of shooting with it. And again, if there's a call for it, you will see a, uh, a review of it. So stay tuned, bros. As always, we are still just getting warmed up. As always, root beer and cheese puffs are still on me. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.